Well, if you're going to use meaning, let's say, and your sense of truth to guide you in the world, which I think is the most courageous way to act in the world, then you have to be sure that you're not any more warped than you should be because you need to rely on your instincts. And, you know, you tell children, well, it's best not to lie. And maybe they ask why, and then you have trouble explaining it, like you might have trouble explaining to your child why. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose. It only matters how you play the game, which sounds preposterous on the face of it, but it's certainly something that's true. You say, don't lie, and... And if you're pushed, you might not be able to come up with an explanation of why you shouldn't lie, but here's one. You become what you practice. And that's actually true physiologically. So when you start to develop a new skill, when you first develop it and you're not very good at it, you're sort of all over the place, huge parts of your brain are involved in in guiding your action while you practice that skill. But as you practice it more and more and more, the, the parts of your brain that are evol- involved change. So it moves from the right hemisphere and the left to the left only, and then from the entire left to the back of the left and to a smaller and smaller place. And as you practice something and you get better and better at it so that you can do it automatically, a smaller and smaller part of your brain is involved till you build a little machine that's specialized for that. And then that's part of you, and it's permanent. And so you become what you practice. And so then you might say, well, what do you become if you practice to deceive? And the answer to that is someone that you can't rely on. And that's a major catastrophe, first of all. Here's the first part, and I alluded to this before. There will come a time or multiple times in your life where you have to choose A or B, and it's life or death, or it's health or sickness, or it's or it's divorce or the stability of your marriage. Who knows, but something major is resting on it. And you won't know which way to turn, because it's extraordinarily complex. And the only thing that you'll have to rely on in that situation is your integral moral virtue. That's all you've got. And to the degree that you've contaminated your own psychophysiological structure with automated acts of deception, you won't be able to rely on your judgment And you will pay for that like you can't possibly imagine. And so part of the reason, that the deep reason that that lies behind, say, rule eight, tell the truth or at least don't lie, is that if you will need to rely on yourself, like it's as if you're out in the ocean and you're captaining a ship and you have the rudder and there's a terrible storm and whether or not you make it through it is dependent entirely on your skill as a sailor and your ability to orient yourself by the stars. And if you've compromised that in any way, then the waves will drown you and that'll be the end. And so part of the reason that you try not to lie is so that you don't corrupt the instinct that you have for truth and meaning because when push comes to shove, you won't have anything else in the world that can defend you against catastrophe except that. And you know that because you know how how it is when, when when you have to make a difficult decision and you have to rely on yourself, you know that you can make a terrible mistake, and then if you're not up to the decision, that you'll pay for it. 